Hello guys and welcome in this new review. This is the police station of the Creator Modular line. And it's a great build. I really like this building. It has so much detail and a story that is incredible. Creative. It still has the modular vibe. And it has a building experience that I didn't had for the last few years. It was when the uh, Grand Emporium came out and the pet shop. They had these little things to it. A little feeling that I get a little bit more with this building than with the newer ones that came out for the last years so it has it has like a get back but also some a lot of new things to it but definitely the vibe that I had when I had my first modular buildings so it it's a really great building and the building experience is just incredible so with no further ado let's get into this review so this is the man who works at the newsstand and he is the thief as well and he has a shoulder bag with him and underneath you can see that he has a really nice printing he has this stick with a donut on it and that's how he steals them with the bag he doesn't have so much printing and no second face and actually the designer in the designer video dressed up as this figure <laughs> which is really crazy that these guys from Lego are doing that and it's a really nice figure to get this is the donut shop worker or owner, I'm not sure. And she has some coffee can in her hands and some really nice printing on her shirt and a nice face print. I really like her outfit and at the back the print continues and she has second phase where she's laughing out loud I think <laughs> and that's a really nice face to get I really love this figure this is the senior policeman and he has a really cool print I'm not sure if this is used in the city line before I think the cap is that he's wearing but not this print on his shirt his face print is really cool and with the back he doesn't have that much printing but he has some and he has no second face and some nice print on his head This is one of the younger policemen who just started. He has the same outfit as the other policeman. And he has a radio in his hands. And he doesn't have a second face. But still a really nice figure to get. This is the chief. And she is the boss inside this building. She has a different outfit. And her face is really cool. She has an empty cup in her hands. At the back she doesn't have that much printing going on. But I really like this hairpiece. It's awesome. And she has... A second face where she's winking at you. This 
This is an awesome figure to get. I'm gonna do my best to show you the interior and details. But it's a little hard because it's a small studio I have. So you see all the figures just standing outside, enjoying the day. And we will start with the new stand. If I can get it in here. Let's get these figures out of the way first. To have more as to all the details. You see these trees outside, which are really cool. And a new stand is really nice with some flowers and some drinks and newspapers. Now you can take them off easily. And it says Donut Thief Still Hungry. If I zoom it in, it doesn't work. But you have access to the inside by getting this thing off. And you cannot remove this house, but you can take a look inside. And there is a donut at the back and some studs that you can place your newspapers on. The roof is just this piece, which has some really nice details to it. And there's a gap in between, which makes sense because this is a separate build. Now here you have the entrance to the donut shop and the door can be opened like this and there is a cash register and you can see there are some planks with donuts at the front you also have this these printed donuts Everything in this set is printed and it's amazing because I hate stickers because you can screw them up even if you're a pro. So prints are awesome. You can see there are some, I think these are upside down cups or something there. And we have some lamps and some planks with donuts and everything. You have a window at the back with coffee. And there's another tree with donuts and I don't know what that other thing is. And what is really nice is that this is hanging over this. So you can stand there and place your donuts to eat them. Or you can get a chair there from another set and you can just have fun. Like a little building. This is a really nice front of the police station with some really nice lamps with some, with some uh, I think these are the heads from Mysterio, I don't, I'm not sure, I think these are in the same color or something and they are used for lamps which is cool. Now there is a water cooler where you can get some water with the same upside down cups so I think these are cups that are there in the donut shop for coffee and in this police station for uh, water there is a nice telephone with a print and some paper and on the other side there's a clock with a radio and I see that I forgot to place some handcuffs there this telephone is really old school and I really like it. 
and there's a jail cell at this side as you can see and there's some stairs going down and he's come up at this door with a nice little lamp as well which is cool all these modular buildings have back doors which is cool and I have some something going on here not a lot never a lot but you know some ladders some flowers and it's really cool that they that they include that we not often place them as display like this but it's cool now there's a crack here and there's a little story about that so let's try to get some access to the jail cell you can take this out this piece and it's the door so you can get more access to here and there's a bed that you can place up and you can see there is a spoon at the back and the, the one that is locked up is trying to escape by scooping up dirt or rocks I think that's a really hard job but to get through concrete is not that easy I think but it's really nice that they included that really funny and there's a toilet and already as I said in there's a bed it's a really long bed but it's really nice to get that there and there are stairs to the floor above which I will show you right now you can see that the flowers are continuing to grow here I think these are ivy that are growing there and that's a really lovely detail with a little flower here and some flowers here which are nice and you can look through the window and see some really nice details but let's try to I think that I have to take this off later and I really like these upside down placed uh, jumpers on the side it's a really nice detail these panels to make them always if these come out I see details and I think how are they making them and if you building it then the penny drops you know and when it hits you and you know how and it's incredible and it's completely different than how you thought that they would build it and they're making all these details and I love this that these stairs are going up and there's like this I don't know is it a balcony I'm, I'm not sure if you call it like that but there's a door that leads to the inside of an apartment where the newsstand worker lives But as I said, I have to take this floor off to be able to show it to you. Now we are looking at a typewriter and a telephone with their cup and a piece of paper and two lamps. and there are of course chairs and here is like a board i don't know how you call it but it's where the police sticks all the all the people who may have done something wrong and have alibis or something and then they always 
piece it together with this red thread and then they used a rubber band for this so that's really cool there is a photo camera here that takes a picture of a thief let's put them in and see if it works I think like this yeah could work although I have would have loved it if they had the whole wall just white but they didn't really do that mostly you see like these these black lines and wall white wall but it didn't there's a really nice plant here and the stairs continue which are a really nice technique that you, that they used I can I think I can show you these I'm gonna destroy it yeah, I can show you like this these are just on the side placed uh, pieces which are a really nice technique that they used and I think they will use this technique in the upcoming modulars as well there's a record player here in the apartment and a bed that you can flip over and then you have assets to the floor beneath and that's the donut shop so that's where this guy is going through to steal the donuts and that's really funny and what I really loved was that they have like this carpet and a little cooking area with the sink and everything I really like that so it's a complete apartment complete living space although there's no toilet and shower but it's complete enough for me they can't fit everything in there there's a lot of detail already in here now let's go to the next floor and this is the, fl the top floor as you can see this is the roof of the donut shop building which only the IP continues but the building doesn't there's a water thing there and a really nice ladder to the roof there are some the same techniques that are really nice and a fan and a little bluebird with a donut I think they maybe placed that outside just to just to get that birds there to watch them you can take this off if you like and these are printed and really nice which say soap and studs and that's a reference to the the bank that I also have and you have a building where you can wash your clothes and your money till they're white so you can whitewash your money there kind of and it's really cool you have some lamps that are actually using diamonds and that's really cool you have some weird paintings there which I don't really know what they mean and as you can see this is the top floor with a really nice thing here and two nice doors I really like that it really seems like a police station like the color of the walls and the doors and everything and then here is a recorder with some chairs where they have uh, people come over to talk about the criminal activities and then here's 
and toilet which is a really nice it's a little small but they add enough detail in it I think and then you also have a fold here uh, where they are keeping all these things that are related to crimes so there is a hat here you cannot see it really clear but there's a hat and a pan and cookies and some bottles or something and a red diamond I'm not sure where that red diamond is from from which set but these are all references to other sets it has a van on top as well now I can just easily place the roof on top here and there's some electric things going on there <laughs> and a van system here and there's some really nice details here with animal hats from um, a game that uh, they did that are upside down from I think it's Minecraft they, they did these animal hats upside down and to make those detail no, which is nice and there is an egg here with a lot of details and I really like that they are using these similar things that are used for just normal things like eggs or birds or something and then, then recall them and then use them as detail I really like that now this is the whole building that I showed you this is the instruction manual it's back but it looks great it says Lego so you know it's from Lego it doesn't really have a cartoonish background that we are used to but it's really nice it's really thick and there is an RQ code to the online manual it has some stories and it has all the modulars lined up which is pretty nice but I don't it's not on the order that they came out they just kind of smashed it all together <laughs> but it's really great and it starts and you see you all the bags and everything, brick separator and these actually have some really small information about the minifigures and about some of the things that you build you have to pay attention because I used to just build it but there are some things explained that these are like these are like maybe 10 things in the whole instruction manual that you have to look for that make it a little bit more pleasant now I hoped that Lego was putting more of these little lines out in the whole manual because it's just fun it even it even doesn't matter what it is I mean even if they tell you like oh you're building this now you're building that now and it's more like the techniques that you use pieces for something that you're not used to they point out to that but it will be like cool if they like continue the whole story like it's building it's like building a set but reading a book like a com combination of that would be cool if there are are like things you can read and things you can build you know just mixed together you now there are some feedback and win commercial action things it's nice to get a different a different uh, color of base plate that I can remember we had these 
base blades like half base blades for really old uh, police sets so that's great to get one again and all the other pieces in here all the pieces are printed let's rock finish building you know how it works and at the back you have the back of the building so here the front and the back the front and the back and that's that's really cool that they did that <laughs> it's just really nice and I don't yeah you see these figures all sitting here and at the back you can see some of the figures are standing there and watching at you so that's really cool so this is my review of police station from the creator modular line I really hope you enjoyed it and that I told you enough for you to convince you that this is something that if you're making a city it, it, it just has to be there the building experience is really nice it has variations in it that doesn't make it dull so you're really having fun building this there are quite some details that you wouldn't expect but are really nice to learn from this set and yeah again this fits perfectly in a city and for the money maybe it's a bit expensive but if you look at the corner garage it's the same price point I think and this one is much better yeah if, uh, if you would have to choose between the modular buildings that are out right now you would have to go for uh, like the bookshop and and the assembly square if it's still available and this one this one and the bookshop are like the best ones that are out now because they skipped the smiley faces and we got used to the normal new faces and it's a really nice building you can change a lot about it if you want to and if you have like two of those you can make even a bigger police station there's just a lot you can do with this set to make it your own so it's perfect on its own but you can also use it for marks and everything if you want to know more about what I'm doing please subscribe to the channel and leave a like if you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you guys soon goodbye